Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. A friend of the channel has an interesting project, a pinball machine that he is refurbishing. He wants to use various display modules and dev boards to dress things up with cool images and flashy texts. But he's hung up working with the ILI 9341 display panel. So let's make this ILI 9341 display panel play nice with the ESP32 dev module. I didn't have either of these on hand, so my friend bought me a few coffees to defray the cost. Hey, thanks for that. These arrived quickly. Now I can begin to work with them. When you look at the ILI 9341, it's actually three different devices or modules on one board. You have the display, you have the touch panel, and you have the SD card reader. For those of you that are familiar with my channel, you know I like to focus on succeeding at something simple first, before going to something more complex. This is my advice to anyone new to this hobby, or each time you start to work with something unfamiliar to you. Succeed at something simple first, then build on that success. We will only be wiring the display portion of this ILI 9341 at this time to keep things simple. Leave a comment below if you want me to make a video about the touch panel or the SD card. Here is the text version of the pinout. This is actually my first time working with an ESP32 dev module, so I have to get my head around it. Let's simulate the wiring. 3.3 volt to VCC and LED on the ILI 9341. Ground goes to ground. Pin 15 goes to CS. Pin 2 goes to DC. Pin 4 to reset. Pin 18 to SCK. And pin 23 to SDI. Now let's do it live. 3.3 volts to VCC and LED. Ground goes to ground. Pin 15 to CS. Pin 2 to DC. Pin 4 to reset. Pin 18 to SCK. And pin 23 to SDI. Now it's time to put the ILI 9341 to the test. There are several interesting libraries and projects for the ILI 9341 and ESP32. But I'm loath to go down a new path when we're already familiar with the TFT ESPI library. We've been working with the TTGO T display using this one. If you go back to this TTGO T display video, I advised to simply copy the TFT ESPI folder from the TTGO T display library on GitHub to your Arduino libraries folder. So this is a fork in the road. I kept getting compile errors on example sketches for the ILI 9341 using the TTGO version of TFT ESPI. It must be customized somewhere beyond the user setup and user setup select files. I'm just going to rename this entire folder. Now, in Library Manager, let's install the latest Bodmir TFT ESPI library. With the fresh copy of the Bodmir TFT ESPI installed, we just have to modify the user setup file. By default, the ILI 9341 driver is uncommented at the top here. Let's scroll down and comment out the node MCU pin selections. Scroll down further and uncomment these ESP32 pin selections. That's it! Let's see what else we need to prepare the Arduino IDE for this ESP32 dev module. In File, Preferences, Additional Board Manager URLs, Make sure you have this Espressif URL in there. In Board Manager, make sure you have ESP32 installed. I select the ESP32 dev module 
and the correct serial or COM port. We can run this example TFT custom fonts demo. Oops, I forgot. Remember to hold the GPIO0 button down before the Arduino IDE begins to upload. My friend probably wants to display images. Let's go back to one of my previous videos where I show multiple images in succession to animate a meme. Upload this. There we go. It's a cool meme, but we need to resize it for this display. So we're going to do a batch resize in ear fan view. We're going to convert these JPEGs to C files at Ricky Dink Electronics with their image converter. Rename these files from .c to .h. We'll save a copy of our sketch with a new name. Copy our image files into this folder. Let's touch up the program a little. For the ILI 9341 in the Bodmer library, we can use the default value when we initialize TFT ESPI. We update these TFT push image commands to reflect the size of the ILI 9341. Let's upload the sketch. Make sure to hold that button down. There we go. Big dreams need big memes. I want to go back to another one of my videos, playing GIFs on the TTGO T display. This SpongeBob meme seems deserving for this instance. We download the GIF. Now we're going to go to resizeimage.net to resize our GIF to fit the ILI. 9341. Select our GIF to resize. Now I'm clearing the aspect ratio checkbox because we don't want to maintain it. We want to be able to free resize. Set the new size to 320 by 240. At the bottom we're going to set the highest optimization and reduce the color depth to 64. We download the resize GIF now. I really should have renamed the file to something simpler. You'll see why in a minute. Now we run the image to C program against this resize GIF image, outputting it to out.h. Oops, I forgot the greater than symbol in between. There we go. We have converted the GIF image to an H file that we can include with this TFT memory example sketch. I used in the TTGO GIF video. Let's save a copy of this sketch. We're going to copy the out.h file we just converted into this new sketch folder. Is there anything else in this sketch I need to update? Oh yeah, there is this reference to the name of the image inside of the out.h file. This is where a simpler file name would have been better. So we're going to change it to Spongebob. There, we fixed the image name in the include file and in the sketch. Save and upload. Oops, a different rotation is needed. So we go set the screen rotation from 0 to 1 and upload again. There we go, Spongebob Meme Excellent. There we go, Spongebob Meme Excellence. Indeed. I hope this breakdown of the minimum wiring needed for the ILI 9341 and example sketches displaying images and playing a GIF is a catalyst for your next project. Check out the links below in the description to find these examples on my GitHub site. Make sure to watch my previous TTGO T display videos for more details on these sketches, image processing, etc. 
Comment below with your favorite meme you want to display. Give this video a like and please subscribe. Thank you very much.